and today for my kitchen I would like to show you how we can prepare معمول بالفستو الحلبي uh, it's it's short bread or it's like cookie dough or short bread dough uh, filled with the pistachios I'm going to show you the way how we can prepare the filling and also how we can prepare the dough I already made one with the uh, walnuts filling and معمول with the jaws which is mean the walnuts and already did the dates one معمول filled with the dates um, let's get started to prepare the dough and after that I'm going to show you how we can prepare the filling so let's start step by step okay so first I'm going to list down the ingredients in that with the measurements in that description box down below if you want to give it a try so we need five cups of semolina course as you can see these five cups of semolina course and we need to add on them one and a half cup of fine semolina so this is grade one it's fine and uh, I'm going to mix these ingredients together here in a big bowl here we go so five cups of semolina course mixed with one and a half cups of fine semolina I'm going to add on them half a teaspoon of yeast and dried yeast and I'm going to add one teaspoon of mahlab this mahlab you can find find this um, spices in any Arabic shop if you can ask for mahlab it's good for um, car cookies Lebanese cookies and shortbread and all these um, kind of cookies dough add nice taste here we go okay I'm going to add on them half a cup of sugar mix them and a little bit of salt oh wow wow great so now we need two more ingredients so we need the ghee you can subtitle the ghee with the uh, butter if you don't have but I prefer to use the ghee for all of the Lebanese sweets and desserts which is taste so yummy and give a richness taste in our uh, sweet so I'm going to add on this semolina two and a half cups of ghee melted ghee okay so these ingredients need to be mixed very well in hand and I need I'm going to leave them so we need to add uh, rose water and blossom water half a cup of each but I'm not going to add them now so I need to mix this semolina with the ghee and I need the semolina to absorb all of the ghee and then I'm going to put them in the fridge cover them put them in the fridge until they get a little bit hard so you see it you will see them after that so mix them until combined here we go look at the dough that's what I want see I will show you the dough after that how it looks like so now it's very soft looks like the kunafa ferric the kunafa dough should be like this okay so this dough need to be mixed in with the rose water and blossom water and three tablespoon of water as well and that's it so now what I'm going to do let me wash my hands first okay here we go I'm going to put this dough in the fridge to set for two hours if you can leave it more it's okay don't worry and I'm going to put it now two hours in the fridge and after that I'm going to complete mixing this dough with the rose water and the blossom water and then I'm going to leave it for one hour one more hour leave it aside not on the fridge outside the fridge uh let me show you this step by step so now let me put this dough in the fridge for two hours and i will see you after that okay guys here we go this is after two hours look at the dough a little bit hard so all this semolina absorbed the ghee okay now what i need to do 
Look at this. It was soft. And now I need to take it and then do it like this. Uh oh. And then mix it with the rose water and the blossom water. Wow, that smells so yummy. The geese smell so delicious. Uh oh. So you have to do it like this just to make sure all oh, the semolina are now soft. Now I need to mix the dough. So what I'm going to do is I need half a cup of rose water and another half a cup of blossom water. So here we have one cup of mix of blossom water and rose water. Just put them like this and then mix the dough. Now I need to mix it until I have the proper dough, proper mamul dough. If it, if it's need a little bit of water, if you find it a little bit hard, so you just need to add a little bit of water. So we'll check it later, yeah. Okay, let me mix it first, and if it's need water, I'm going to add a little bit. I will tell you how much. But last time I did it, and needs just three tablespoons of water. Good, good. Need a little bit of water. Wow, if you smell it, if you try it, you will love it so much. How it's soft when you bake it, it tastes so yummy, it melts in your mouth. This is the proper mamul, how we do it in Lebanon. This is the way, the proper way. It's so yummy. So, most of the people they make it on the Eid day. Wow, we have three kind of mamul, mamul bitamer, which is mean the dates filled with the dates, um, and also for the walnuts, and we have the pistachios filling. So we have three filling. The dates one, we don't sprinkle it with the um, uh, icing sugar. I mean on top, but the pistachios one, pistachios mamul with the. Uh, Walnuts, mamul, we have to sprinkle the top, and that's how you find the uh, icing on top. Looks so beautiful. Here we go. Just need to add a little bit of water. Here we go. Just this is like one tablespoon, and another one, just three tablespoons. And then the dough will be ready. You have to leave it side to rest, not on the fridge. Just keep it outside in a cool place. And then after one hour, you will find the dough ready. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. See, I'm going to show you something. Look at the dough now. Don't be worried if you have this dough so you cannot form it. It's stick in, into your hands. So what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to cover it and leave it aside for one hour, just one hour, and then in that time, so you can clean clean your kitchen or clean your dishes and prepare the filling, and then after that, the dough will be ready. So stay with me, and I will see you after that. Go. So let's get start preparing the filling, uh, the pistachios filling. So now what I need to do here, I have one and a half cups of pistachios. I need to put them in the food processor and just ground them a little bit. I don't want them to be very minced, very like powder. Just ground them a little bit. All right, just a little bit more. So that will take less than one minute. Perfect. Woo. Now just take them off the food processor. And then leave this one separately. Here we go. And I'm put them here. Now we are going to mix them with the sugar. There's people they would like to they like to add sugar. There's people they like to add syrup. So I'm going to use both of them and that will make the filling taste so yummy. The sugar is really important because we want the sugar to be melt while they're cooking in the oven and that will give a nice taste. I'm going to add for this one and a half cups of uh, grounded pistachio. I'm going to add on them 
just three tablespoons of sugar that would be enough okay mix them like this okay just a second okay that's better close okay so one and a half cups of grounded pistachios i just added on them three cup three tablespoons of sugar because i'm going to add as well syrup and that will make the filling a bit sticky that's what i want just add two tablespoons of syrup this is homemade syrup perfect okay now what i'm going to do i need to add uh oh one tablespoon of orange i mean blossom water and another one of rose water wow that will add a nice texture nice smell what i need to do i'm going to mix this filling with my hand like this this is enough I'm going to leave those separate just mix my dough a little bit look at the dough now the dough is ready so I'm just going to mix it a little bit and prepare everything and after that we are going to use the mamoun molds just to form the shape of them and then bake them in the oven I will see you after that okay take the dough a little bit and then do it like so fill it with the pistachios if you want the the filling to be all of it pistachios you need to double the amount for this dough for this ingredients dough because uh because i needed to make as well with the next to the pistachios mamul i need to make dates mamul they love it so much here in my house so that's why if you want them to be all of them with this filling just double this amount also you can make the walnuts i already have a video how to make the walnuts mamul the filling walnuts the jaws also the uh tamar one okay here we go wow i'm just going to give it this shape that looks so cool that's so beautiful just do it like so keep it neat and that will be so cool i'm going to make in another one for this shape we don't need too much too much dough a bit dough okay just small dough and then fill it with the pistachios just close it like so okay cool see okay now take it and then put it here just press 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 it down just to give it the shape and then take it off the mold oh that's so cool so i'm going to keep carry on doing the rest the pistachios one uh with this shape i'm going to do with the dates one uh with this shape as well oh by the way these moods you can just order them online you can buy them from any arabic shop or mediterranean shop you can just google it up and write mamu moods moods and also you can just find them on amazon if you write uh, short, lebanese shortbread mamul molds you can find them okay i got mine from lebanon so that's why you know most of people they keep asking me how did you get these and from where so let me just do this off camera and before finish preparing this mamul i'm going to preheat the oven at 220 degrees and put them in the oven i'll show you when when i finish them i will show you how they looks like and how much need to be baked in the oven i think not more than 10 minutes or between 10 to 15 let you know how much so stay with okay, me okay everyone look at look at this beautiful mamoul with the pistachios filling so i'm going to um put i'm 
going to put this straight in in the oven in, into a hot oven so i preheated my oven before five minutes before so i'm going to place this tray for about 10 or between 10 to 15 minutes so or until you find them golden brown not too much just a little bit and after that you can see them we are going to sprinkle the top with that or cover them with icing sugar so i'll see after that uh, look at these beautiful mamul pistachios mamul filled with the first halabi which is meaning the pistachios so they look so cool uh, you need to keep them a little bit for just 10 minutes oh by the way they took 15 minutes in the oven and you need to leave them like five ten minutes to cool down so now what i'm going to do final step you need to take some icing and then sprinkle the top that's how they do look at these oh wow snowing snowing snowy snowy oh my goodness you can put as much as you like but most of the people they cover all of the mamul so just cover it all of it oh wow amazing look at this beautiful mamul if you like you can keep them like this also you can just move them into a, a clean place clean plate i mean so here i have some as well and also i have the rest filled with the dates if you want to check my video i'm going to put down the link uh, down in the description box as well if you want to check the date spelling dates mamul look how they and so delicious wow 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 it melts into your mouth uh, they taste so yummy the texture is absolutely delicious especially with the ghee and the rose water the blossom water also the filling oh my goodness i cannot say but i hope if you can taste this beautiful mamul Mm, I'm gonna end up my video now if you would like to check this recipe or give it a try uh, I'm going to just check the recipe down in the description box below and thanks for watching thanks for subscribing as well I will see you soon in another video or another recipe of food let me complete mine and I will see you soon thank you bye